Strengthening the entire people of Israel, as we say together, Amen. And Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Both Beverly and I want to thank each of you for coming here today, and we're really pleased that we're able to do something like this while we're here. Instead of doing something like this when we're gone. And we really felt that it was something that was needed. And our grandson, Michael, uh, you may want to just say one word or so. Uh, we worked with them, we're going to be it now. Uh, really inspired us to do this. Yes, mm -hmm. so, Michael is uh, some of the volunteering in Israel for Mother Deborah Dunn. And as we learn more and more from them, everything that they did, we knew what we wanted to do for Israel and made up our mind to uh, donate this ambulance. Um, well, I, uh, for those of you who don't know, I, I volunteered from the Get Beauty Dome back in the summer 2007 with three, three of my other friends. Um, it was a tremendous experience, and uh, not only being able to help give back to the people of Israel and the, the tourists that uh, visited Israel, but um, I mean, it was life-changing for us as well. Um, there was four of us, and uh, three of us ended up going to med school, and one of us is finishing up his PhD in psychology, so we did pretty, it was, it goes to show how, how transformative uh, uh, this, the mission is. Um, and uh, I think, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I'd, I'd like to thank my grandparents for continuing support and a, a lot of you for um, your support, not just for Miguel Big Dome, but uh, uh, a lot of you just support Israel in general, I imagine. From and uh, after it's, I've been fortunate to stay there a few times, and it really, the Israelis really appreciate every ounce of support they can give, uh, that anyone can give them, and uh, they uh, they've come so far along. We, we hear all the time about how how Israel like technology and uh, and science and all the all the advances. Uh, Israel's making in the world, and it's it's because of the, the support um, monetarily, the, the uh, uh, and uh, just the, the blessings that everything uh, to help build it in, from a small country into what it is today. And um, so, I'd 
I want to thank you all for coming, and uh, of course my grandparents for helping uh, uh, donate this ambulance, and uh, I think that's all, that's all I get. <laughs> Just got back from Israel uh, this past Thursday uh, in Cleveland. She goes to the Schechter Day School and she's finishing eighth grade. And they just did uh, almost. Nadila Hava, 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 than oil or water it's blood the fluid that makes life possible delivering oxygen and nutrients to the body fighting infection and launching the process of healing and thanks to blood transfusions it's now one of the biggest factors in people surviving once fatal injuries so few things are as important to a nation's health as blood for medical emergencies whether they're caused by everyday accidents or the acts of war and terrorism that Israelis face. Israel's blood supply is collected, safety tested, and distributed by Magen David Adom, which also serves as the country's ambulance service. Today, Magen David Adom supplies 97% of Israel's civilian blood, and all the blood for the Israel Defense Forces. Magen David Adom's current blood center was built in 1987 when Israel needed to collect 175,000 units of blood to meet the needs of 4.4 million people. Just a few years later, however, the world order changed, reshaping the face of Israel. The Iron Curtain that prevented Jews from leaving the Soviet Union fell, enabling more than a million Russians to come to Israel, swelling the nation's population and stretching medical resources, including the blood supply. Today, Israel's population has surpassed 8 million people, and MDA needs to collect nearly 400,000 units of blood to meet demand, more than twice what it needed when the blood center was first built. By 2030, Israel's population is expected to reach 10 million, which will require more than half a million blood units. Israel needs a larger blood center and a larger facility to house Magen David Adom's growing cord blood program 
where stem cells are stored for cutting edge medical treatments around the world. But building a bigger blood center doesn't by itself address Israel's needs. And that became abundantly clear in November 2012. Israel's most belligerent enemies, Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in the Gaza Strip, previously didn't have rockets sophisticated enough to reach Magen David Adom's blood center near Tel Aviv. But the Gaza rocket crisis of 2012 was a game changer. Now Israel's enemies, both to the north and south, can hit any part of Israel, leaving millions of Israelis and the blood supply vulnerable. That's why a new blood center needs not only a larger processing capacity, it needs to be secure from attack, reinforced with its most crucial services, such as blood storage and processing, underground and out of harm's way. This will ensure that Israeli civilians and soldiers have blood when they need it most. And it will enable the blood center to continue to operate in the midst of a crisis, to meet the needs of the country and ensure the survival of Israelis. To make this new blood center a reality, it's up to us, all of us. Together, we need to make it happen because eight million Israelis are counting on us.